عليك لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود and you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are Hello and welcome. We are live on air. How is everybody? God bless. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. I hope my sound is coming through loud and clear. Welcome everybody. Let me first say hello to our beloved admins, Ramfer, Phil Herrera, Longinus of Jerusalem. God bless you. Phyllis, Psalm 23, Hafsa, our dear sister, an ex-Muslim who became a Christian. Welcome. Russo, African Christian, Malaysian prophet, Daniel Gogay, uh, Romeo, Emilio Sanchez. Wow, I love your name, my friend. You have a beautiful name. Bart Canoli, Cruz. Strive to enter through the narrow gate. Uh, Michel de Vries, uh, Skull Super, Yosef. There are many of you. Sorry if I didn't mention your name. Welcome, everybody. God bless you. I know I didn't do a live show for at least a week now. Sorry for that, guys. Bear with me. I've been really, really busy. I know. But... We're not forgetting our work and we will always, Lord willing, continue what we do. So we are here, we are live. Hope the sound is good. I hope the sound is good. I didn't pick a topic today, guys. I was like, you know, I didn't see you for a couple days now. And I was like, hey, let me do a nice Q&A live on air with you guys, with our guests. You know, change it a little bit, switch it. I hope you like that guys so we will allow today also uh, the Muslims to call us we will allow Christians to call us so it's going to be a nice live show with full of discussions Lord willing so <clears throat> before we start guys before we start before we actually start let me say the following tonight we are going to witness the most anticipated match in the history of professional wrestling for the heavyweight championship of the world. Are you ready? Wrestling fans, are you For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world from the capital city of the United States of America, Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! All right, all right. Are you ready? I hope you are ready because I am ready, guys. I am ready. If I'm ready, that means you must be ready with me, right, guys? Now, before we start the live Q&A, guys, pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior so we can be guided through today's live show. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience. Lord, thank you for your grace. And thank you for this very lovely audience and subscribers who are always supporting us day in, day out for the last year. Please bless them and bless their loved ones and families. Please, God, keep us, all of us, healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this coronavirus. I mean, the, the coronavirus. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give in to discouragement, deception, any taqiyya, 
any maker lies or any dog, Lord. Please, Lord, help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who might be in need of you and are seeking for the truth. Please, Lord, open also their eyes so they can also be saved through the blood of Jesus Christ, our holy Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today so I can speak the truth without any shame, without any error. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. On this live show, guys, we will have the opportunity today, as we mentioned, to do a nice live Q&A session with our beloved audience. Both Muslims and Christians are allowed to call us today. We will not make an exception. Make So make sure, but make sure that anything Muhammad said today on this live show, anything that Muhammad said in the Hadith or maybe in the Quran will be used against him in the court of law. So I hope he has Allah as his personal attorney present, his personal lifeguard during today's hearing. So to defend him in the court of law. So if we have Muslims or Christians, you can call us on my Skype. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Again, the Rob Christian. Maybe the admins can provide the Skype ID in the live chat. Before I open my Skype, guys, before I open my Skype, so we can receive calls. Many Muslims, I've spoken to many Muslims lately, and many Muslims are sending me actually in secret messages, and they're saying we are leaving Islam because of your live show, because of Christian Prince live show. You know, we are finally finding the truth. You know, I don't want to share any names with you guys, you know, for privacy, you know, what Islam does to ex-Muslims. So, you know, but there are, there are many actually. And according, guys, according to Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera, the number one news TV channel, 17,000 African Muslims leave Islam every day. How many? 17,000. 17,000 or 16,000. You know, let us be politically correct. It's around 6 million and 2,205. 6,205,000, sorry, 6,205,000 ex Muslims only in Africa, guys. That's only in Africa. What about Saudi Arabia? What about Iraq? What about Syria? What about Turkey? What about Indonesia? We didn't count those numbers. Can you imagine what kind of numbers we are dealing with, guys? Ex-Muslims. And this number is only in Africa that you see here on the screen. You can go and look this up. This is reported by Al Jazeera, the number one news TV channel. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what kind of huge numbers? But wait, Muslims always say, you know, and that's the only thing they have to say. Why don't you see any Christians saying, Christianity is the fastest growing religion. Christianity is the biggest religion. Why only Muslims do that? Because they are bankrupt, right? They are bankrupt and they have nothing else to say. So the only thing they can say is Islam is the fastest growing religion. Maybe by birth rate. That's it. Because you Muslims are doing it like rabbits, right? But certainly because of the truth. Trust me, the Muslims who are converting to Islam they will leave Islam in two years. In two years, they already got enough from Islam. Because finally they will see, hey, Islam, you know, it's a hate cult. It's, it's a slavery cult. You know, you must hate Jews and Christians. Even the Jews. You must kill every Jew. Else, judgment day will not be established. I mean, you heard the kid, right? That brain brainwashed kid that I always play in my intro video with that spitting cobra. Right, the spitting llama, Muhammad Hijab, Mimi Hijab. Liar! <laughs> You're a liar! You sound like that uh, guy, uh, what is uh, Uncle Uncle Jamal? Liar! <laughs> From Speaker's Corner, that uh, one tooth guy, you know, that old Egyptian guy. Liar! 
Yeah. If you think I'm lying, go Google it and you'll see that it's reported everywhere by Al Jazeera. Number one news TV channel in the Arab world. Now, let me see. Let me open my Skype. Let me open my Skype for you guys. And if I don't receive any calls, we will, you know, go through some random uh, topics, random sor Islamic sources, and we will take it from there. So my Skype is open, guys, as you see. My Skype is open. You can call me. You can send me a message. If for some reason the call does not go through, and I'll call you back. All right? So let us start, guys. Do we have any Muslims today, guys? Do we have any Muslims in the live chat? I want to welcome everybody who just joined in. We just started, guys. You're, we are, you're not late. We just started. My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. If you want to call me live, my Skype ID is D Rob Christian. Welcome, everybody. Do we have any callers? Do we have any callers? Do you have any callers? No callers yet? Call me, call me. Say, uh, say it. Call me, call me. I know it's you, Yahya. I know it's you from Speaker's Corner. Call me. I'm live. My Skype is open. You can call me. All right. We'll wait for this guy to call me. You guys, remember what uh, Mimi Hijab uh, said after he uh, lost that debate with uh, David Wood, that hot debate with David Wood? Did you did you remember what he said? He said, "Allah prays for, not to the Prophet. Allah prays for, not to the Prophet." So he was actually repeating uh, what David Wood was saying during that debate, right? He. It's saying buffering. Is my sound good? Can you hear me, guys? Can you still hear me? Give me a, give me one if you can hear me, guys. <clears throat> okay. Uh, refresh. He said the, that's why the translators put Allah praise for, not to the Prophet. When he came back, you know, when he came back, he said, no, no, I meant to say Allah praises the Prophet. Pray this like this, right? Allah praises the Prophet. But wait a second, Ya Abdul. Right? Wait a second. If we go, if we go to the Quran, if we go to the Quran, chapter 1, ayah 2, it says, All praise be to Allah. Mr. Mimi Hijab, all praise, Alhamdulillah faqat. All praise be to Allah. Are you calling Allah a liar, Mimi Hijab? Mimi Hijab, I hope you are watching. Are you calling Allah a liar? Are you out of Islam when you say Allah is praising Muhammad? Huh? Is that what you're saying, Mimi Hijab? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we have a problem. Here we just found out that Mimi Hijab, instead of doing fixing the, the, the disaster that he created for his prophet, right? Allah praises the prophet. He made it even more worse. Oh boy, oh boy. Mr. Muhammad Hijab, you just called Allah basically the slave of Muhammad. You called Allah the slave of Muhammad because the Quran says all praise is only to Allah, not to Muhammad. So how is Allah praising the prophet? Any answer? Any Muslim? Any uh, Mimi Hijab? Mimi Hijab? May Allah praises you too, brother. If Allah can praise the Prophet, He can praise you too. That is certainly not shirk, right, Mimi Hijab? So instead of doing damage control, instead of fixing the, the disaster that He created in that hot debate with David Wood, He made it even more worse for His Allah. He just called Allah the slave of Muhammad. Shirk 101. Blasphemy 101. Mr. Mimi Hijab. Now Muslims will say, you no, know, Allah doesn't actually pray. Well, <laughs> Allah does pray because the word is Yusalli. Yusalluna. 
right? Here, let me explain to you how it works in Islam, guys. Dua is an invocation like, oh, God hear me, oh, Allah hear me. It's an act of worship, right? That's Dua in Islam. Invocation, you know, you're asking God to do something for you, right? To hear you. Salah, as you see, guys, it's in front of you. Salah is prayer. You salli. Salah, do you see it? This is a verb. Ana usalli. Who are you solely, right? That means I am praying, he's praying, right? Praying. Praying is praying. It's not cooking food. It's not uh, playing basketball. No, it's praying. So it's a prayer. So Allah is doing praying. Now, if Allah truly wanted to say blessing, then he should have said, Yubariku, right? That's the verb of baraka. Yubariku. In Allah wa malaikta, yubariku, not yusalluna, right? Not yusalluna. So Allah should have said yubarikuna. Not yusalluna. Ala nabi And ibadah, the word ibadah is worship. So Allah should have, instead of salah, should have uh, said yubariku in chapter 33. Right? In chapter 33, Allah should have said, in Allah wa malakitu yusalluna. No, yubarikuna nabi Yahya can't call me? Oh, okay, let me let me try to call him back, guys. <clears throat> Yalla ya Yahya. This is the guy, right? Speaker's corner guy. Pick up, pick up. Yalla ya Jaban. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Hello. Can Please. you hear me? Yes, you're live on air. Yeah, can Welcome. you hear me? Yeah, I yeah, can hear you. I can hear you. Welcome. But, but I, can, I cannot even see myself. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to call you for the last uh, 15 yeah, you minutes. Yeah, you need, you need to uh, mute YouTube. Make sure to mute YouTube. Only watch the screen without sound. Because okay, everybody can hear you. I can hear you. My audience can hear you. Okay, fair Welcome. enough. Fair enough. Welcome. Welcome. Fair enough. How are you? I hope you're doing okay. I'm doing fine, very good. Uh, good, good. And how you doing? Well, I'm fine, thank you. You know, I didn't uh, do a live show for a couple of days, but you know, it's never late to to have a nice live show with our audience here. So welcome, live, your life on air. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Okay. Uh, uh, today I had uh, actually uh, a conversation with Ben, uh, Ben on... Uh, on uh, Bible outreach, and yes. he will uh, up upload it uh, soon on uh, Soko Film. Anyway, we talk about uh, if Jesus were God or not, and uh, uh, here we are with uh, with you. Uh, this is the first time we talk okay. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we continue, did did you say Inshallah before you called me? Uh, does it matter? Does it matter? No, of course, it matters. Ac according to Islam, it matters. Uh, don't, don't worry about me because I'm uh, really interested about uh, uh, talking about Islam and Christianity at the that's same good. time. Okay, that's good. So uh, okay. I'm, I'm positive, man. I'm positive. Oh, uh, wow. That's good. Always good yeah, to be positive in these days, man. Uh, I'm happy let, for you. Let, let me ask you something uh, because I know that you can speak Arabic. I'm Lebanese. Uh, where, are you, where are you from originally? Uh, I, I'm from everywhere. According to my VPN, I'm from uh, UK at the moment. Uh, f fantastic. Uh, yeah. I am UK resident. I'm, well. I'm everywhere, my friend. Allah, I'm not like Allah. I can be everywhere at the same time. No, no problem. Uh, Don't worry. Uh, Allah, Allah, he cannot be uh, everywhere know. at the same time because it I doesn't know. fit. I it know, doesn't I know. fit. It doesn't fit for him to be everywhere, especially where there is filth. I know. You Muslims actually worship a God who cannot. That's good to to know. You know. Thank you for confirming that. Actually. So go go ahead, my friend. Why did you call me? Uh, I call you because uh, I would like to speak about your God, because as long as you're attacking my God, let's talk about your God a little bit. What do you say? Before we go there, you are a guest, right? I am a guest, yeah. Okay. I just mentioned, I, I just mentioned a, a topic. I just opened up a topic before you called me. Yeah. And do you see the screen? Uh, I see myself on screen, a small one, yeah. Okay. You see, you see also the background here? 
right? Uh, the, the text and whatnot, you see it, right? Uh, uh, an invocation like a God okay. hear me, okay. a prayer, act of okay. worship, blessing, and worship. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. If you go to the Quran, right, chapter 33, right, it says in chapter 33, ayah 56, Fantastic. Why, okay, can you tell me what, why Allah and His angels are praying on Muhammad? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, as long as we are start, uh, please don't interrupt me when I talk. When Go I ahead. finish, you sure, can sure. say whatever you like. Go ahead. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he doesn't only pray on the, the Prophet only, but he pray, he pray on all the believer. And his prayer is not a prayer of worship, but a, a prayer of responding to their prayer. So uh, the destination of our prayer is God. And God... When he responds to us, he responds with his mercy, with his forgiveness, with his blessing, with his love, with his uh, appreciation for our submission to him. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, that, it, that it is his prayer and the way he treats us. Okay, that's a, wonderful, my friend. That's wonderful. But thank you very what, much. Thank what, you. But when Allah is praying, to who does Allah pray? Go ahead. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as I said, he pray to all the believer who submit to him and all the one who submit to him. I understand that. I understand it. But yeah. when I yeah. pray, I pray to my God, right? But yeah. when Allah pray, to who does he pray? Go ahead. I told you, I don't think you are that dumb. Uh, and you understand no, uh, no, I told no, I'm, I'm asking you, uh, a very sincere habibi, question. Habibi, Habibi, listen, My friend, listen. I'm not your Habibi. Please don't call me your Habibi. I'm not habibi, your habibi. Listen, According listen. to Islam, that's that's uh, already, habibi, uh, you know, uh, haram. Don't uh, call me Habibi. I, I told you, if you want to interrupt... Uh, I'm not in the, uh, interrupting. Answer my question. When I when I pray to Allah, right? Let's say I'm yes. a Muslim. I pray to Allah. I pray to Allah. I'm praying to Allah. My God, my Creator, right? But okay, when so Allah listen. prays, when Allah prays, to who does Allah pray when he prays? Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to repeat myself. It seems that uh, you are like DCCI ministry. Uh, I need to say it more Le than 15 times so you can get it. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he prays, he prays for okay, his Okay, he's praying. So you guys, he's, he's confirming prayer. it. You are he's confirming. A, Listen, he, you are confirming he, that he's no, no, praying. No, no. To who uh, is I he then you, praying when he's don't, praying? Don't talk over me. Uh, show some respect, so I can show you some respect, if you wish. I am, listen, I'll, if I didn't respect no, no, no. You, you, I listen, would not I'm answer okay. your question. No, no, you Answer listen. my question. Could... I'm asking a very direct and, and very I'm clear question. You, I'm answering you very direct. Okay, uh, who is answer. Allah praying? Go ahead. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, his prayer is not a prayer of worship, but a prayer of descending his, uh, his blessing, forgiveness, love, response to our prayer. You get it now or I need to repeat no, it? No, I can't get it because you are saying Allah is praying. You know what praying means, Salah? What does Salah mean? Can you okay. tell me the def definition of Salah? Go ahead. Okay, okay. The prayer is like dua, supplication to Almighty God to respond to our prayer. Is that uh, fair enough? Who? Come again? Can you Can you say it again? The prayer is supplication yes. to the worshipped one to respond to our prayer. Okay, so you are it's an act of worship, right? When you pray, yeah. you are worshipping that God, yeah. right? Yeah, but, but I explain that yeah. God's who is worshipped, his prayer, his responsive of prayer is not a, pray, a prayer of worship, but a prayer or response. You get it now? No, because in the end... Praying is praying. Ba yubariku is yubariku. Baraka, blessing, bra praying is praying. So when Allah prays, to who does Allah pray? To send you all these beautiful barakat, beautiful hadaya, right? All these gifts that you get prayer, right? From the prayer, you get hadaya, you get a lot of baraka, baraka, baraka. But when Allah pray, right? Like Allah is praying. Yours, you just confirmed it. To who is Allah praying when he prays? So in the end, in the end, you just confirmed it over and over and the audience are listening. So to who is Allah praying when he's praying? Go ahead. To all his obedient servant. 
Who is, who is answering the prayers of Allah? Please answer my question. Who, when Allah prays, who is answering the prayers of Allah? His prayer, his prayer is a response to our prayer, is not a prayer of worship, his uh, creation. We are the creation, he is the creator. And I know uh, now I can realize you know what? that you, you know, are you know, playing no, dumb. No, no, you know, no, no, I'm not uh, playing Thank up. you very much for playing okay. dumb. When, when Muhammad Hijab, listen, Muhammad Hijab uh, said no, the following. Don't talk to me about no, no, Muhammad Hijab. No, 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 Muhammad don't Hijab talk to me about is you. Else, no, no, listen, Muhammad Hijab, you see him, right? Muhammad Hijab, when he came back from Ghana, when he, after the debate, he went to Ghana, to Africa, and he came back and he said, no, no, I meant to say, when Allah prays, let me, I, I meant to say Allah praises the Prophet. When Allah prays for, not two, he said Allah praises the Prophet. But do you agree with him? Or did Muhammad Hijab lie when he said Allah praises the Prophet? Hamd, right? Okay. Do you agree with him or is, is he, was he lying when he came back from God? Let, let me answer you. I am the only person and speaker corners to put it the way I put it. And I guess I'm not saying they are prayer, uh, praying, but uh, uh, maybe because they feel embarrassed. But Allah subhanahu but do you, wa ta'ala... But do you agree with him? Do you agree with him when he said no, Allah be, prays for? Be, so you're not agreeing with him. So basically he's lying, right? According to you. But no, it's not lying. Uh, it, how, it, how is... How is how, wait, wait. I don't understand one thing. You said he's not lying, but you don't agree with him. Either, either you're lying or he's lying. With, which one of the two is lying? Tell me. Okay, Please don't play uh, games. May, may I finish my sentence, please? Answer the question, please. W what I said, I, wa I was the only one in speaker corners to respond to this, that Allah pray. And Allah prayer, I explain it as Allah uh, prayer is not a prayer of worship, but a prayer of sending, ascending his blessing. Well, okay, why didn't Allah say, say wait, then why, wait, why habibi, didn't Allah... Wait. Don't call wait, me Habibi. Yeah, I told yeah, you, don't, don't call me Habibi. Why did Allah then not say, in Allah wa malaikatu yubarikuna nabi, if, you, if it means blessings? Okay. There is because baraka that, is blessing. Okay. Uh, hear, hear me out, okay? Go ahead. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, say, and another verse in the Quran, الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَبَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةً قَالُوا إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ my friend, my friend, nobody understands Arabic except uh, you, you and me. I understand, and but I, that, that has nothing to do you, with Baraka. Uh, it has nothing to do with prayer. It has uh, nothing to do with you, Saluna. It has nothing to do with you, Barikuna. If Allah truly meant to say, I am blessing Muhammad, why didn't Allah say in chapter 33, ayah 56, in Allah wa malaikatun, malaikatu, you salu, instead of you, Saluna, you Barikuna, if it means blessing. Go ahead. Because you salon uh, praying to the prophet or praying to the believer, praying to the obedient servant. So it means praying, uh, right? Listen, it means listen. Praying. Like, let me finish, ya dumb. Let me finish. Don't uh... don't don't call me names on my own live show. Who are you, man? Donkey. Why why are you not answering the question when Allah is praying? You know, I, I you guys, is it going to insult me live on air on my own live show? Who are you, man? You call, you're calling me dumb, but you can't even answer why Allah is saying clearly in chapter 33, right? You solely, Allah and the angels are doing, I mean, I understand that the angels, right? That, right? The angels of Allah, there's nothing called God here, it's Allah. I understand that the angels can pray, right? They can pray to Allah, I understand that. But why is Allah, why is he doing praying? And I mean, when I pray, I am really trying to understand this, guys. Right? I am trying to understand. When I pray, when I pray, I pray to God, my creator. But when Allah prays, it's the same verb. When Allah prays, to who is Allah praying? No answer. And you see, guys, he completely disagreed with Muhammad Hijab, right? He said, I disagree with him. That means either you are lying or Muhammad Hijab is lying. One of the two. You can be both correct. Muhammad Hijab tried to fix the, the, the disaster that he created in that debate, right? 
when he came back from Africa, from Ghana, he said, no, no, I meant to say Allah praises the Prophet. But wait, Alhamdu, Alhamd, Alhamdulillah, Fakat, all praises to Allah only, according to chapter 1, ayah 2. Right? So here, Muhammad Hijab is also actually causing Allah to become the slave. I mean, when Allah is praising, and hamd is only for Allah, when Allah is doing hamd for the Prophet, praises, that means Allah is the slave of Muhammad. So according to Muhammad Hijab, Muhammad, his Prophet, is actually the real God of Islam, and Allah is the slave of the Prophet. Aha, now I understand why Aisha said, I see that your Lord hastens to fulfill your desires, O Muhammad. Now I understand Aisha saying. So I, now we understand, guys, why Aisha said it. I always see that your Lord hastens to fulfill your desires, Muhammad. Right? Her husband, the Prophet of Islam. Because Allah is nothing but a puppet in the hands of Muhammad. So, you know, actually Muhammad Hijab was here being very honest that the real God of Islam is the Prophet. And you can also find it. We mentioned this many times. You can find that Muhammad is actually the real God in Islam, right? And he actually made himself equal to Allah. In chapter 48, ayah 9, you see, it says, Now, as you see here, it says, so that you believe in Allah, right? You have to believe in Allah and the Rasul, the messenger. Focus, guys. This is the Arabic. When I went to school, they taught me how to understand Arabic sentences, right? So you have to believe in Allah and His Rasul, His messenger, and according to the Arabic language, right? When I went to school, they taught me the last mentioned person all the words that come after go back to the last person. So tasbih, right? And focus on this last word, tasbih, glorification. Let me change. This is horrible, horrible, horrible taqiyya translation. I hope we get a, you know, you see, this is the word. To glorify who? The Rasul Muhammad. Tasbih, to sabbih. Tasbih, Subhan, it means glory, it's an act of worship. To who? To Muhammad. So here Muhammad elevated himself and made himself equal with Allah. Do you see it? When he fabricated this ayah. Bam! Bam! So here you as Muslims must glorify Muhammad because all the verbs, right? You have to, this is another... Actually, very bad translation, man. What's what was the Muslims want? They can't even translate. What to aziruhu, guys? It means support to assist someone in battle, i.e., Muhammad, the Rasul. Because when we ask Muslims, does Allah need to be helped in war, in battle? No. So it it is for the Prophet. Do you see it? So already, the ver first verb, as you see, the first verb goes back to Muhammad. Let me see if I can find. A better translation. You see here. What to aziru means to assist. That ye may assist. Do you see it? Him. Assist him. Do you see it? But here he failed. What to sabbih does not mean praise. Tasbih is glorification, right? Ana usabbih. I am glorifying God. Ana usabbih ilahi, right? I am glorifying my God. So it's an act of worship. So all the verbs that you see here highlighted, this is verb number one, it looks the same. Look, wa to aziruhu, to assist him in battle, right? Wa to waqiruhu, honor him, and wa to sabbihu. Do you hear it, guys? Again, wa to aziruhu, wa to waqiruhu, wa to sabbihu, bukratan wasila. So you have to glorify Muhammad. You have to assist Muhammad in battle and you have to honor him who the Rasul Muhammad. Do you see how Muhammad here in this ayah created a disaster? 
commanding the Muslims to glorify him every morning and evening. If this is not shirk, then I don't know what shirk or blasphemy means. Right? Right? Let's see if we can get other colors, guys. Let me see. Kay called me. I hope she's our dear sister from Speaker's Corner. Can you pick up the phone, Kai? Let me try again, guys. Kai, uh, can you can you send me a message back uh, so I can call you? Maybe you are not in a shape, or uh, at the moment you are busy to to pick up the phone. That's okay. Let me let me call this guy back. Let me call this guy. Guys, please don't send me a message and say hi to me. There's no reason to say hi, okay? Because you have no idea how many messages I get from people who only are saying hi to me. What's the reason for that? So please don't send me a message. If you want to call, just call or send me a message. Call me back. Uh, yeah. Hello. Can... Hello, Sister K. You're live Hello. on air. How are you? Hi, Mariana. Hold on one second. I have to mute you. Uh, yeah, mute you too, please. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I can't hear you. You're right. Maybe you can tell who you are to our audience who are listening. You're live on yeah. go so they yeah, will know, know who you are. Sorry about the shouting at the beginning. No. Um, I'm Kay Soko Films. Um, I go to the park with Yaya, um, Syed F11. Yes. And I was listening and <laughs> trying to message you to let you know, as you yeah. already know. You know, I was you know I was having a chat with him, all right? It was a, yeah. you know, I was trying to really understand why Allah is praying and this guy you know I had to I had to stop the call because he called me names right on my own live show so you know when you're going to act like a kid I will treat you like a kid and I will kick you so if you can respect yourself yeah there's no need to continue the talk right so, what I would say in relation to what was irritating me while I was listening is that prayer has to be directional there has to be an object. You can't pray to thousands of people or millions of believers or Muslims. No. You can only pray towards the object of worship. Not, exactly. I don't mean physically like to the car, but I mean like your prayers, if you imagine them as like physical things, they go upwards into the heavens mm -hmm. and are received by God. So God can't pray back. It's not like a Skype call where he lifts up the phone, like he can lift up the phone and God, our God can speak into your heart. Exactly. Um, you know, but... He's not praying to us. He's responding to prayer. Exactly. He, exactly. Yeah, he's yeah. he's giving us the benefit of his wisdom and his love yeah. and his mercy and kind of the things that uh, Yaya was saying. But no, he, Allah is not, as far as I know, he doesn't love Muslims. I don't know. Of, maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. I don't know of many loving verses. Yeah, but Kai, Sister Kai, uh, the thing is, I mean, I'm really trying to ask a very sincere question. And you heard... Yahya uh, answering, right? He yes, said, it Habibi. means prayer. It means prayer. <laughs> yes, I, I, I have no idea why they are calling me Habibi. Because when you're calling a mushrik like me, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a Christian Habibi, that means you're going against your prophet and Allah. Well, yeah. Let it go, let it go. So when Allah is praying, I mean, when I'm praying, I'm praying to God. When exactly. Allah is praying, to who is Allah praying? And who is answering the prayers I, I of Allah? I think I have an answer. I don't know if it's the right one, but... I think that most probably because it was revealed by Muhammad via Jibreel, etc. And like you said, Aisha basically said, aren't you lucky, Muhammad? Mm -hmm. Every time you do something, Allah just comes with a new verse <laughs> and like lets you off. Yeah. Um, I think she was being sarcastic. I quite like her just from that comment. Yeah. But I think he's praying to Muhammad. I think that because um, if you leave Islam, you have some days to reconsider um, you know, you have some little time window to get back to Allah. Right. But if you slander Muhammad, you're instantly liable for like immediate punishment. So I think that's shirk. I think that Muhammad is equally yeah. uh, venerated. 
So the only person that Allah could pray to, the only perfect last prophet, it's like Muhammad. the only worthy, exactly. Muhammad, and he's yeah. dead, unfortunately. Exactly. So, um, you yeah, know, you know what, yeah, okay, you know what I, what I don't, you know, I'm really trying to understand Muslims. When I ask any Muslim, he will give me a different answer. When we ask Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab, I mean, you, you heard what he said, Mimi Hijab. When Mimi Hijab came yeah. back, he said, no, no, it means Allah praises, right? Allah praises yeah. the Prophet. So, and you heard uh, Yahya, Yahya giving us another uh, answer. So, well, and basically, which Muslim actually is right? Give yeah. me for an me, absolute for answer. Me, Rob, for yeah. me, a religion with so many tafsir, so many scholars, so many imams, so many like for a clear and concise book exactly. it has an awful lot of instruction manuals and for that for, so to then go to the everyday muslim because neither of them are like with all respect to yaya and muhammad like they're not um like you know top scholars they're just like genuine muslims who are trying to answer but yeah. our god is not the god of confusion he yeah. does not cause yeah, exactly. his word to uh, create mayhem mm. so they all need to get together and decide which tafsir, like they're going to have in the top 10, yeah. maybe like Sahih uh, Hadiths to go with it, like, and find out who, uh, who Allah's praying to, because otherwise, yeah. you know, it could just be to one person and they're not even hearing the call. Like, can yeah. you imagine how devastating that is for Allah? Yeah. Like, maybe he's praying and, um, you know, he's not getting an answer. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Sister K, you know, the, f the funny thing is, if Allah was truly God, right? Mm -hmm. If Allah was truly God, he should not have caused a mass confusion in his so-called last revelation, right? If Allah truly meant to say, I am blessing the Prophet, why did he not use Yubariku, right? Yubariku, inna Allah wa malaikatuhu, Allah and his angels are Yubariku, are blessing, sending blessing ala nabi Why did they use Yusalluna instead? Yusalluna is prayer, Yubariku is Blessing someone. Yeah, I've got a different right. like kind of comparison. So we know that um, the uh, the disciples um, and apostles, they spoke and over 500, I think, people heard them in their own tongue. Like, so it was a miracle in and of itself. It was after the resurrection, I believe. And they heard, each of them heard these uh, Hebrews or Aramaic speakers um, mm. in like English. or. I'm, I'm, an Ar I'm an Aramaic speaker, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. lovely. I've I've got yeah. one friend who speaks Aramaic. It's very uh, nice to listen to. Yeah. But anyway, so the point is, Allah could have imprinted that on the hearts of human beings without the need for any language. Because yeah. I've seen some grammatical errors, even in the Quran, where like it's the wrong uh, pronoun. Like you know, like in French, there's male and female pro mm -hmm. uh, like descriptors, and he used even the verse about the smoke and the earth. And will you come willingly into creation? He uses like female and then male on a certain word, and and it's his perfect language. So yeah. maybe all the Arabs have actually got it wrong, and Allah's version is um, you know, like yeah. the perfect one, which it couldn't be anything other than perfect because obviously. Yeah, that's yeah. true, sister. You know, the funny thing is, I uh, when we are we are talking at the moment, I'm going through to through many uh, translations for chapter thirty-three, ayah fifty-six, right? The, the very ayah that we are talking about. I mean, every translation that I open, it says bless. No, the word blessing, bless to bless, is yubariku. Why are you lying? Why are you using taqiyya? Why are you using mecca in your translation, taqiyya. right? But you're allowed to use taqiyya. It's different. If you say to a Christian, why are you lying? We know that lying lips are an abomination unto the Lord. We know... Yeah. You know, um, that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. But exactly. if you're a Muslim, it's not, as you know, it's not the same. It's, you, you you know, basically you've got certain circumstances to protect Islam, to, um, you know, like to protect your own community. You can lie and God will not judge you for, or Allah, sorry, will not judge you um, harshly for that. Exactly. So exactly. it's a little bit of a false, um, exactly. yeah, it, I don't think it's the false. But wait, Kai, are you telling me, basically in a nutshell, are you telling me and the audience that Muslims are fixing the disaster that Muhammad created in his Arabic Quran? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying they're very <laughs> earnest and sincere people and they believe what they've been taught. And I um, often fear for their uh, salvation, well, yeah. often. And yeah. I hope that... exactly. 
Yep. The Holy Spirit can do a massive work. Whilst everybody's Amen. stuck at home, I Amen. think that this is the time to, you know, like to minister like strongly to people and to exactly. repent. We all must repent because Amen. We, we're told that if we repent sincerely, God will heal our land. Literally, he says those words. No, so, no. like, that's what I'm I'm praying for. And also, um, yeah, Jehovah's Witnesses must be very happy. Everybody's at home. <laughs> Nobody can hide. That's a good one. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I think that Yahya, the shame with Yahya, he's very nice to speak to him yeah. in person. And he's, he's, some of his family are Christian. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, Yahya, you know, he knows I know Arabic. He knows I'm an Arabic speaker like him. He can't play those games with me. It means yeah. blessing. You know, I mean, come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we are not under a stone. We are not in the time of Ahmadidat like 35 years ago that he could deceive and lie to hundreds and hundreds of people, right? Who were uh, yeah. sitting there. This is the era of the internet. Yes, people it's can, people it's can look up what the meanings today are. They can see if Rob Christian is lying. What the actual meaning of Yusaluna mean? Yusaluna the means praying. Yubarikuna means blessing. It's in the end, Allah is praying. To who is Allah praying when Allah prays? That's the sincere well, question. Maybe, yeah, maybe he's um, like dual. Maybe the, the word of Allah and the spirit, like maybe they've got a kind of trinity going on. Like because he speaks in the beginning to the earth and the smoke. Before the earth is created, he yeah. calls it the earth anyway. Exactly. So, and they understand his language and they're <laughs> like, so how do they know this perfect yeah. Arabic? And unless they've heard him talking to himself because he's been for millennia, yeah. maybe just floating around, like thinking what to do. And um, yeah, I, I, yeah, it must be very lonely, like yeah. to be a, just a solitary. Uh, I don't, and he can't enter creation, unfortunately, because otherwise he could, yeah, maybe like impress some Muslims uh, with the truth rather yeah. than with uh, Takiyah and kind of exactly. the truth. Because if somebody asks me a question about English, yeah. There's no reason for me to lie, even if it's an English translation yeah. of the Bible. Like exactly, just... it's and imagine. I mean, it, what kind of God is Allah that you always need to go back to the Arabic to understand the Quran? You know, when we ask Muslims, can you trust any English translation, any Chinese translation? They say no. You have always to go back to the Quran in Arabic. You have to pray to Allah in Arabic. What kind of a limited that, God that, Allah that, is that you need to pray yeah. to him only and only in Arabic, else he will not accept your prayers. What, what kind that of proved, God That is proves this? to me also that Muhammad was um, less of a dreamer than he is. Like, yeah. So if he would have been um, maybe planning out his, not the war part, but the, like, you know, theology, maybe he would have thought, well, if, if this could be international, if this could, even though the prophet brings uh, in the tongue of the, the nation they're coming to, maybe if we get some Hebrew uh, Qurans and some Greek Qurans, like maybe we can be like Christianity and we can be global and... Exactly. You know, exactly yeah. Because he limited himself to only Arabic. Yeah. And someone okay, hey, someone Arabic. in the chat, uh, I know I, it's funny, someone in the chat, his name is Malaysia prophet he says uh -huh. Allah it's only knows Arabic Allah only knows Arabic that's funny the Duolingo <laughs> not advertising but there's an app where you can learn yeah. like French or Spanish it's quite easy so I, I'm sure yeah. I look I honest I don't understand why Allah only needs Arabic and only speaks Arabic what kind of God? well Muhammad, Muhammad thank God what? our God is not limited and he can speak any language and he can hear any language from all over the world and he will accept your prayer even if it's in Chinese amen Hallelujah to that, yeah. yeah, because he created us, he knows the, the yeah. thoughts in our minds, we know Amen. that when Christ said, if you hate, you're a murderer, he's wow. actually telling us, listen, God's not only looking at your outward uh, yeah. deeds, don't be like these hypocrites, like, if you have a pure thought life, or at least you keep repenting of your, you know, like the sin that's just natural to us, then he will forgive us, because yeah. he sees that we're trying, and by his power, we were able to come back to him. Amen. So, um, okay, I think we should tell Allah about Google Translate, you know, so he can use Google Translate. <laughs> well, it Maybe, you know, he will then similar you know, accept, accept <laughs> Chinese prayers, Japanese prayer, you know, maybe Nigerian prayers, so he can finally, you know, understand them. Right, he's got some, Allah's got some fans in Nigeria. Yeah. I know for a fact. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty hardcore people. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, Christians are persecuted globally. 
Um, we're the most persecuted religion. Yeah. Um, even taking into account Shia and Sunni like violence towards each other, we're still number one. As in, because we've got more pe- more Christians, but also because there's a campaign of covering it up and not allowing just general people in the street to see in Nigeria there are hundreds of pastors being um, slaughtered. Maybe, Kay, ra- Kay, Sister Kay, maybe you missed yep. it. I, I already showed on the screen before. Uh, maybe maybe I've you got didn't. My, my screen yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, I understand, but we already mentioned before you actually, you know, before we started our call uh, in the very beginning of this live show, I already mentioned, you know, that according to Al Jazeera, number one news TV channel in the Arabic world, they are reporting and they're actually trying to be very honest. 17,000 African Muslims leave Islam every day. No, and I try to be very political correct. I even removed 1,000, yeah. right? If you do a small calculation, you will get 6,205,000 ex-Muslims on a year. That's only Africa, right? Yeah. Can you imagine you the rest of the Arabic account, world? So then you, you have know? to take into account the birth rate yeah. of practicing Muslims. Exactly. Because as we know, the expansion of Islam is mainly through birth rates. Yeah. So if there were, like, I don't pray that there are less children being born, obviously, but what I mean to say is if these people leave as adults with their own free will, the only people kind of being drawn into Islam are are people who've got no choice, like babies. You know, they they just grow up Islamic. Um, But yeah, hopefully they'll see the real Christ and realize that he's not Isa. No. And um, because it's very difficult to give someone the gospel if they think they already love Jesus. And I'm sure they're sincere, but they don't appreciate that Jesus is one of the most well-documented characters in history. Amen. And um, basically, I don't think we missed anything out of the Bible. I don't think he was running around making clay birds. And do you know what I mean? Like, I, th- I don't think someone would have missed it. <laughs> and then all, all of a sudden he wasn't crucified. And all of a sudden he's just a man. And yeah. And he's just a man who never died. So he's like a Methuselah. He's like um, Rip Van Winkle. He's like some mythical fairy tale guy who doesn't ever die, like Peter Pan kind of thing. <laughs> like, it's just not realistic. Like, yeah. if he's just a prophet, that means he's just a man. That means he's not immortal. Mm. That means where is he? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, he's with he, Allah. He's the only one. No, he's hiding Allah. from the Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're always saying, have you found Jesus? It's because he's hiding. Yeah. Yeah, it's not my yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for your call, sister. Thank we you have so many, much. many callers. Thank you. Yes. Always amazing to talk to you. Guys, make sure to subscribe to our dear sister her YouTube if you channel. Search, if you search Soko Films K yeah. and then somehow it works. Yeah, other- you'll find her. Exactly. Yeah. Help Great. her, guys. Support her work. She's doing amazing videos. Uh, and yeah, make sure to always call us back, uh, sister. It was a blessing to hear you. Yes, again. always. All right. God Have a nice day. Bye bye. Stay Listen safe. Bye bye. You too. God bless you. Bye bye. Guys, we have a lot of callers, and Muslims don't even understand that we are in the middle of a call. So they are trying to call me. Hi, Yahya. Hello. Uh, Hi, why, so why, 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 are you, why are you calling me back? Why? Why you, not? Well, don't you understand that you can't have a respectful discussion when you call people names? I really, I really want to have a nice, respectful discussion with you. Why are you calling me names? Forget, you know, forget about it. Forget about it. I have another question. Is that yeah, okay, okay with you? Yeah, but uh, you kept interrupting me, and you are the one who's uh, actually disregard my answer to you. No, no. Listen, listen, listen. I have another question. Is that okay? Forget about that. You know, forget about it. Listen. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. Okay. I'm listening. I want you, I want you to tell me what Allah actually means in the following ayah. Let me go there. Chapter 21, ayah 17, right? Chapter 21, ayah 17. It says, if we willed, Allah is saying, if we, we willed, Allah is speaking, to choose a pastime, that means a wife, right? A partner, la one means partner, a wife, we could have chosen it from ourselves. Can okay. you explain this ayah to me, please? Okay. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he had wished to have a partner, yeah. he would he would have chosen who, whomever he liked. But he is above all of this. 
because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator. And let me ask you, mm -hmm. why didn't your God uh, choose... Wait, wait, wait. Before uh, we go to oh my God, I, please ah, let us sorry. finish this. Okay, Here okay. Allah is saying from ourselves, how many, how many Allahs do you have in Islam? Because when, Allah is talking about ourselves, right? Okay. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he speak, mm -hmm. he speak of his majesty. He say our, he don't say I. It's just like a, an example. I understand when, when he's saying we. I understand. I understand that part we. You know, I don't want to yeah, go off topic too much. But he's saying we could have chosen. So he could have chosen a wife, right? From yeah. ourselves. So clearly Allah is saying there are many like him. You Muslims say there is nothing like Allah, right? Exactly. Ma ma right? Nothing yes. is like him. But Allah is saying that there are s s things, I don't know, divine beings, because he's talking from ourselves. He can't choose from ourselves. Who is this ourselves? Go ahead. Ourself is his majesty. He's the owner of earth and heaven. So Allah, Allah uh, will take himself, Allah will have sex uh, with himself? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I, I never claim that Allah will have sex by himself because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not, not like any of his creation. And please don't try to I understand put that. I understand that. in my mouth. But it says clearly, see, it's see, in front of you and even the Arabic says that. Don't say this is false translation, okay? The Arabic says, uh, la right? Min la ladunna, one, ladunna, la one, and ladunna la from ourselves, la right? La, it it I, means I ourselves, agree. right? Okay, guys, he agrees. But, so there are multiple Allahs. If, if he's, Allah is talking about himself and he's talking about ourselves, to, that means we have Allah number one. Allah is a male, right? He's a he. And we have Allah number two. It's a female it's a she so allah will have sex with himself or Robert, or with Robert a christian allah number two is a female Robert christian, right Robert, Robert christian Robert christian if you open yes that's any <clears throat> any arabic any arabic bible yeah genesis what, what, one, what, have, what has a bible one, has to do what has the bible has to do Tell the me name, who the ourselves is, please. I want to understand the ayah. We will uh, Rob, go there. Rob, we will Rob, go there. Answer the Rob, question, please. Rob, no? Rob we will I'm go there. answer is a question, but don't interrupt you when I'm talking. Okay. Uh, please have some respect for yourself. Answer okay? my question. Answer my question. This topic, uh, this question here Rob, that you see on the screen, Rob, please. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he talk about himself, he talk and a kind of we according to his I understand majesty, I understand the we it's in front yeah. of me I so understand that me, this is a disaster on itself but I don't want to go uh, there explain uh, to me Allah is clearly saying if we will to choose a consort right a wife a pastime we would have chosen it from ourselves who is that ourselves is there Allah number one who wants to have sex with Allah number two if he wanted is that what you're saying? Please explain to me who ourselves is. Go ahead. Okay. What I'm saying is there's only one Allah. There's no Allah number one. No, no, Allah number no two, you're lying. No, Allah number no, three. no you're lying and because when, it says uh, Laduna, it means ourselves. Laduna, Allah is saying ourselves. Uh, if he said uh, himself, he would have sex with himself. I mean, I understand. Maybe Allah, when you know, wants to do, you know, but he's talking about ourselves. Ourselves means multiple, multiple gods. Allah number one, Allah number two, maybe Allah number three. Who knows, right? Because it's talking about Laduna and it means in Arabic ourselves. So is Allah. Well, if Allah wanted, he will have sex with a different Allah who is a female. Is that what you're trying to say or not? Please explain. I want to know who Laduna, who ourselves is. You know, uh, you are a filthy bastard. Okay. And you... No, your prophet is a filthy bastard. Your prophet doesn't know who his real father is. According to Islam, Muhammad was born four years after the death of his so-called father, Abdullah. I know my, at least I know my father, but your prophet doesn't know his father, right? Muhammad, guys, according to Islam and according to the scholars of Islam, to explain it away, according to the shuyukh, according to the imams, right? 
Yeah, name calling. What do you expect, man? You are a filthy, you know? Because he knows he's in trouble. He knows Allah is clearly saying, right? Ourselves. So the only bastard, don't call me a bastard. At least I know my father. Your prophet doesn't know who his father is, right? Amina carried Muhammad four years in her belly. Can you imagine guys? Let's see who this is. Hello, welcome. Hello, peace to you. Hello, welcome. Yeah, my name is Abbas. Um, first time I'm calling you. You're, you're Abbas from Speaker's Corner, my friend? Is that you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. You're right. Okay, maybe you can help out. Muslims, stop calling or I'll block you. Well, you know, guys, don't call me. Let me wait, wait, wait. Let me plug this guy. Let me plug this guy because clearly he doesn't understand. Okay. You see, guy, your Muslim friends, they can't, you know. We are middle in a call, guys. Why are you calling? Stop. Okay. So maybe you can help uh, Yahya. Mm -hmm. He could not explain who ourselves is. You can see the screen, right, Abbas? Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about that first. Uh, the reason I call you about uh, no, no, please, Allah please. Praise. You call me. You Muhammad. were listening. You were listening. We already moved from that. W the topic here is in front of us. Chapter twenty-one, Ayah seventeen. Go ahead, please. Yeah, the, tell us that, who ourselves is. I know, uh, but that's not the reason I call you, Rob. I call you for the reason were you calling ten minutes ago. You we will go there. We will go there. We will. We will switch topics. Okay. No well, problem. I'm. I'm. I can answer that, but I'm just going to be answering um, because I do not um, look into this particular verse too much into it. Do you see it on your on your screen? Do you see it? Um, you have YouTube second. in front of you. Just make sure. One second. To I have to YouTube. mute it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One second. Right. Um, and please read the Arabic and explain it, the translate for us in English, if you can. Um, I think... Uh, you know second. Arabic, right, Abbas? Yeah, yeah, I can okay. read Arabic, but I don't know Arabic. I'm not fluent in oh. Arabic. Okay, you can only read it, but you don't understand what it says. Well, what if I want to understand, I look into different translations. If I have any doubt, then I look further into That's the fair di enough. Dic dictionaries. So okay. I'll try my best to understand whatever, okay. however I can understand. I have I have it in, on, in front of me. Everybody can see it on the screen. Chapter 21, mm -hmm. Ayah, yeah. Surah Al-Anbiya, Ayah 17. Allah yeah. says, if we will to choose a pastime, right, a partner, mm -hmm. because Allah is a he, so he, he, if he wanted to have a female partner, we could have mm -hmm. chosen it from ourselves, Allah mm -hmm. is saying. Who is can the you, ourselves? Go can ahead. You read, can we read the context? Can you read the one verse before that? I just want to look into sure. the context. Well, there is not really context because the... Verse in front of it says, mm. and we have not created the heavens and the earth and all that is between them and necessarily. So that's but, talking uh, about the heavens and on earth. Well, well, and here is talking about a female partner. But please, But if you don't mind, ahead. if you put verse 16, I, I like to see sure. verse 16 before and then 17 and 18. And you can I start, can you it. can look 15 too, 16. I don't care. I don't have a Quran with me right now. I'll you can see the screen, okay? The screen is um, in front of it. There's nothing, um, nothing coming here. It's just I can see verse 17. Refresh. One second, maybe refresh. Okay, uh, verse 16, yeah. And we have not created the heavens and the earth and all that is between them unnecessarily. If we will to choose a past time, we could have chosen it from ourselves. Meaning Allah is all, part of, actually verse 16 is very much with the context. Okay, Allah is, Allah okay is basically, explain. Allah is basically saying that Allah has nothing created for, without a reason. Okay. Everything there is a reason Allah has created it. Okay. So if there was a reason, Allah is all powerful. He could have created a creation, yeah. which which He considered from Himself. I understand, he, Abbas. Yeah. I understand all that. That's I understand he, that. That's what but who means. is the ourselves? Allah says we could we could have chosen it from mm. ourselves. Who is the ourselves here? I'm just telling you, Rob, from what my understanding is, and I think I need to read more tafsir, what the Mufassir say about that, but my understanding the, is I this. Mean, I mean, my friend, my friend, my, my friend, my friend, what, what tafsir, what shish kebab, what falafel? It's in front of you. It, Allah is I'm stating it clear. If we willed to choose a pastime, meaning a female partner, we could have chosen it from ourselves if and we I'm, wanted to. What, who is the ourselves? It's clear, it's crystal clear. Do you need tafsir for this? You didn't hear me out. I say I'm going to answer it. What I understood, what I read it, reading it. Okay, go read it. 
understand it and come back. I don't have time to... Yeah. Guys, really, is Muslims are these your Muslim heroes on speaker's corner. We spoken to Abbas. We have spoken to Yahya. Both cannot answer our questions. One of them saying, I need to read tafsir. I don't know Arabic. I need to read tafsir. Come on, man. Muslims are those, the speaker's corner heroes that you are so proud about? Is this is it? And one of them can't even behave, can't control himself. He needs to call me names. Did you hear me call him names? No. He called me bastard. He called me dumb. I mean, come on. How old are you? You seem like a at least, at least 55 year old man, Yahya. Why does a 55 year old man needs to call people names because they know are they know they are in trouble they know they can't answer they are only resulting in name calling and cursing i mean guys it's recorded right it's recorded you can be the judge of that who is the ourselves according to abbas he doesn't know right i hope he was not driving when he was calling me always make sure abbas to drive safe my friend right because i Someone told me that you're always in your car driving. So make sure when you're calling us, make sure to not drive. Be always safe, right? So who is ourselves, Muslims? Right? Who is the ourselves? Someone is asking, read al Jalalain. Hey, Santorin, Habibi, Kifak. Uh, just a second. Let me go to Tafsir al Jalalain. No problem. Let us go there. Chapter 21. Ah, uh, yeah, 17. No problem, we can check the tafsir of Al Jalalain. Let me see. I mean, this this ayah doesn't need tafsir, guys. It's crystal clear, right? Allah is clearly saying if we if he wanted someone, you know, a partner in bed, he would have chosen it from ourselves. The ayah is crystal clear, but no problem, since Allah is not clear enough in his so called crystal clear book right quran and mubinan right let me open the ayah let me make it bigger wow al jalalain guys al jalalain are basically two people right two imams two scholars this is they are called al jalalain by the way to tell you who the, these people are this is the same chapter surah al anbiya right Abbas, I hope you are watching. I hope you are listening. Abbas, chapter al Anbiya, same chapter, right? 21, ayah 17, Tafsir al Jalalain. Let me try to make it a little bit more bigger. Tafsir al Jalalain, right? Tafsir al Jalalain. This al Jalal, right? Jalal was the, his teacher, and the, and the student was also called Jalal. This is why they are called Jalalain, two Jalals, right? Jalal number one, the teacher. And Jalal number two, the student, right? So this is tafsir combined by the teacher and the student. Very highly respected, right? Highly respected. Let us read what Al Jalalain tafsir says for this ayah. Had we desired, this is tafsir, guys. This is not my tafsir. Don't say this is Rob Christian tafsir. No, no. This is tafsir of Al Jalalain. Had we desired to find some diversion, meaning a female partner for sex, right? For sex, fun, fun, you know. <clears throat> that which provides diversion in the way of a partner, you see it, or a child, we would have found it with ourselves. Who are the ourselves according to Tafsir Jalalain? From among the beautiful eyed Huris, or, so, you know, they, they don't even agree, you know, who these ourselves are. This could be the Huris, right, with the big breasted melons, right? Those weapons of mass destruction. Imagine, guys, if you are a Muslim in in Jannah, and you will have as a female your your wife, she will have melons, right? Cow, <clears throat> weapons of mass, you know, destructions, or angels. Uh oh, uh oh. So are you t saying, Muslims, according to Al Jalalain Tafsir, Allah could have had sex with the Huris or with Jibreel. Allah will have sex with Jibreel if Allah wanted. Did you get catch it, guys? 
either with the big breasted melon huris, kawaiba atraba, right? Big breasted, according to the Quran. Fully breasted, big breasted women. Not second, guys. <clears throat> or Jibril. Angels, brother. This is the tafsir ibn Abbas. Uh, sorry, Abbas. Yeah, Abbas. Yeah, Abbas. Are you watching Abbas? This is according to tafsir Jalalain. So Allah will have sex with Huris? Really? Or Jibreel, angel. Imagine, guys. I mean, I know Christian Prince, he can, you know, draw very beautiful pictures. I'm not going to do that for you because, you know, I don't want to embarrass Christian Prince. You know, you should see my art, man. If you think Christian Prince can paint, I can do a much, much better job. So, you know, out of respect for... <laughs> Just joking, guys. Okay. So, you know, Allah will have sex with the beautiful eyed Huris or Jibreel, the angels? Muslims. Oh, man. Thank God I'm not a Muslim and I have to accept this disaster. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. Someone is calling me Rob, Rob Michelangelo. No, man. I know. <clears throat> Any Muslim? Re do, you, do you agree with this tafsir, Muslims? Are you, do you agree with Al Jalalain that ourselves, Allah could have had sex with the big breasted, beautiful eyed Huris or Jibreel? Maybe Israfil? Maybe Mikail? Allahu A'lam. Allah knows best. Right, Muslims? So, you know, you see. Even your tafsir that is the old school that is have no answer. It could be the beautiful eyed Huris, the big burst beautiful eyed Huris, or Jibreel. Right? But Allah, you know, Allah is not in a mood, so we never desired it. But he could, if he wants to, he can. Right? He can have sex with Jibreel, brother. Lord of mercy. Rob is Pierre the artist. <laughs> You're killing me, man. Uh, so, uh, Abbas, Abbas, here you go. Here is the tafsir for you, brother. Let's see if we can. <clears throat> Kai, Kai is saying weapons of memory destruction. <laughs> Our dear sister Vanessa called us. Let me call Vanessa back, guys. Let me call Vanessa. Vanessa, are you there, sister? I hope you can see my call. <clears throat> hmm. Let me try again. Hmm. Vanessa, are you there, sister? Okay. Hey, sister Vanessa, how are you? I'm good. Uh, hello, brother. Hello, welcome. Um, I just tried to call in when that um, uh, speaker's corner guy, the first one, yeah, 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 that all the gentleman exactly. yeah, who cannot, uh, you know, he, he must resort to name calling, called me uh, all kind of names, uh, you know, Muslims. Yeah, he yeah. looks elderly and he still uses uh, oh, such man. words. He doesn't know that whatever word he uses goes back to his prophet. Yeah. Yes. Everything he said, guys, he called Every me a bastard. Muhammad was a bastard. I challenge any Muslim to prove to me that Abdullah is the father of Muhammad. Prove it to me, right? Because you Muslims say, I mean, I was pregnant for four years. And your Imams always say that a woman in Islam, only in Islam, by the way, can be pregnant up to 10 years, right? Just to explain it away, you know, do you know it's a disaster, right? A disaster that a that, that Amina, the mother of Muhammad, carried Muhammad in her belly for four years, right? After the death of Muhammad, father of Muhammad, so, so called father, yeah. four years, mm. yeah, a terrible disaster. Imagine you're so, a woman, God forbid, yeah, imagine that you have to carry a baby in your belly for four years. Can you can you imagine the horror? <laughs> I, I can, I can imagine maybe. Um, <laughs> Since they, they use uh, this black magic in the Islamic world, mm. I can imagine Harut and Marut, like, uh, <laughs> putting... Uh, 
yeah. making the pregnancy stay for four years. Yeah. You know, it could be. Yeah. Anyways, I called him, brother. Yeah, because go ahead, of, yeah, Sorry for that. Go ahead. Of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He said he couldn't ex- explain away mm. this uh, concept of praying. Yeah. And so he resulted into into lashing out and insulting you. Yeah. It's clearly written there. Mm-hmm. Can he, for once and for all, all mm-hmm. these there um, tricks? Yes, it was blessing. Okay, it was blessing Muhammad. Does it take the whole world to bless Muhammad? The <laughs> yeah. angel make, uh, Ima- exactly, exactly. I mean, if Muhammad is a good he, place, Muhammad is dead, right? He's somewhere in Medina, right? His his grave yeah. is somewhere in Medina. Why would you? Why would someone who who should be in a good place? Why does he need your blessing? Why do you need always to say right? S A W S. Uh, you know that's what they always say. S A W S when they translate. Why do does Muhammad needs to receive the S A W S from you? I mean, should should is he's dead? Why does Allah needs to hear your your so called prayers to bless Muhammad? I mean, if Allah. Allah is Allah. Allah is truly God. He can bless Muhammad and get over it. Why does he need you to always say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Right? Why? Right? And you know, you know that uh, uh, religion. I have to confess to you, yeah. sounds really empty to me. Yeah. Listen to Yahya when he's talking. He can't say. Uh, he can't say Allah. He will say Allah Subhana Subhana. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whatever. They will have to say so many things yeah. before making one single point. Yeah. Is that necessary? <laughs> it's because that thing is empty. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. Now, I, someone talking to me about Muhammad, anytime he mentions Muhammad, he has to say Salah, Wale, Awili, Wasalam, blah, 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 blah. And they want to, after, uh, first and foremost, when you, when they w- start a conf- conversation with you to like capture your attention, yeah. they want to make you believe that they respect their Jesus. Yeah. So they will say, wasalam, whatever. And when I then correct them, yeah. that look, reserve this, uh, whatever, yeah. to the um, Isa of, uh, of, of Quran, yeah. because I, Jesus is the author of peace. They yeah, change. Exactly. Amen. Yeah. They change. Quickly, yeah, and Sister uh, Vanessa, I, I have a question. I mean, we, yes. you know, Muslims are always so proud about those Muslims who go to Speaker's Corner. We today we spoken to, to we spoken to Yahya and we spoken yes. to Abbas. Yahya, yes. because he could not answer, he needed to call me names at least two times. I gave him two chances, right? Okay. It's recorded. Yes, exactly. You can go and hear it again if you don't believe no, us. I, I, right? I, I, I know you. I know you heard it. I know, but. People yes. who are just maybe just joined, you can go and replay and rewatch this live stream. You'll see that we are actually very respectful. I didn't insult him. I didn't call him any names. So that's number one Muslim from Speaker's Corner. The second one, Abbas, also from Speaker's Corner, he could not tell us who the ourselves is. He said, I need to check Tafsir. Okay, go check Tafsir and call me back. Right? We all and all, already we showed on the screen that they, the Muslim tafsir that is right the old school people like uh, tafsir al Jalalain al Jalalain they they say maybe it's Jibril maybe it's you know uh, the big breasted Huris what do you think about this I mean do we really need to go to tafsir to understand that Allah if he wants to he can have sex with Jibril or if he wants to he can have sex with big breasted Huris what's what do you think about this discussion? Bye. Brother, my own opinion is this, mm. that uh, someone plagiarized ideas mm. from the Bible and they did not know what they were copying, <laughs> so they have problems explaining it away. Yeah. That's yeah. my own opinion. Because we, they, they saw we, let us create man in our own image. Yeah. They took on that concept without understanding the concept in the Bible, that is why they are having issues yeah. getting the, the concept of Trinity into their is- Islamic brain. <laughs> so this is what I think, yeah. that copying, plagiarizing is not the best idea. 
because if you copy, yeah, you don't know exactly. what is behind the the the, the uh, main author's mind for writing what he wrote, and you just went and took on uh, whatever without understanding the co- concept. This is the problems that it creates. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So, and then ourself, saying we and ourself, if he had remained with his we, at least somebody could have explained it away with the, this majestic term. Yeah. But we and ourself, well, they don't tell you, I'm sorry, I have to confess. <laughs> because ourself yeah. is not majestic. Yeah. You, I don't need to be a grammarian. I don't need to be a linguist to yeah. understand what is behind what is being said? You understand? Yeah. So ourself and their 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 scholar that they respect so much yeah. explained that it could be the huris, it could be whatever. You yeah. see? Yeah. With, so, and according according to chapter seventy eight, sister, this is this is really a disaster. According to chapter seventy eight, Surat Al Naba, right? Ayah thirty three. It says, and maidens, right? Huris, wa kawaib atraba, and maidens with swelling breasts. So Allah either is going to have sex with, you know, the huris with swelling breasts, big, like melons. You know, sorry for the ladies who are listening. This is Islam. What can we do, guys? Sorry, okay? So, so ladies with swelling breasts. So that's who Allah is going to have sex with, right? According to Tafsir Jalalain. Or Jibreel. Can you see it? The so, beautiful eyed huris. Right, and when we see yeah. how the who, 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 what what is the description of these horis, right? They are in in the gardens, right, and vineyards, and they are maidens horis with swelling breasts. Beautiful, beautiful women. What? Bam, bam in front. Of me. Sorry. You, you you know I spent hours on one guy on the internet. Yeah. You will explain so many things to him. Really, God needs to intervene. Really. You will explain so many things to him, and he will come back with the same thing. Show me in the Bible where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a so, question that is already answered yeah. over and over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. No matter what you explain, it will say, mm-hmm. show me in the Bible where God, uh, Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Yeah. Now, show me where Jesus says, don't worship me, I'm not God. Go ahead. Now, right? now <laughs> look at what Yahya, just, li- just listen to what Yahya said. Exactly. Yahya said, yeah. his God cannot be everywhere at the same time. That mm-hmm. means his God is not omnipresent. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Yahya said, what else did he say? So that the, their God is limited. Yep. Their, their God is saying Very that nice. I cannot pre- create a baby without having one of the huris. Exactly. And yet, the, the Islamic uh, mindset cannot grab the concept of, of, of uh, what do you call it, Tawhid, the concept mm. of Trinity. They just have a stumbling block there. Mm. So, anyways, I just I just called him because of Yahaya actually, yeah. you know, because he could not explain that concept, mm-hmm. and he then turned to abusive terms and yeah. abusive languages. You, you to, heard what he called me, right? You, you heard to bully. You. It's I'm a ju- bullying. No, no, I, you know, to be honest with you, sister, you know, I'm doing this for a very long time. You know, sometimes yeah. people who don't know us, maybe they just joined or subscribed. They don't know who Rob Christian is, right? Let me tell you, for the people who don't know me, let me tell you a small, uh, you know, a, a small biography about what what I've done in the last fifteen years. Christian Prince, Zachariah Botros, all of us, we are very old school debaters, very old school teachers. I used to sit on the same channel, same room with Christian Prince. I used to sit on the same channel, same room with Zachariah Butros. We are very old school debaters, very old school teachers, right? So I, 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 I'm, I'm not born yesterday, right? You can't play those taqiyya games, those deception, mekr, right? Deception of Allah with me. It doesn't work on me. I know Arabic. I have that advantage. So what, whatever you're going to do, in the end, either you're going to call me names because you can't answer my question. That's what you did. Or you're going to dab dance and give your own yeah. tafsir like Muhammad Hijab, right? Muhammad yeah. Hijab. And you heard him. He didn't agree with Muhammad Hijab, right? Yeah. Muhammad Hijab says Allah praises the Prophet. But wait, when Allah praises the Prophet, that means Allah is the slave of Muhammad. 
So instead exactly. of fixing the issue, you created a much bigger disaster for your prophet, showing that Allah is the slave of Muhammad. Thank you very much. And this guy said, no, I do not agree with Muhammad. So if you don't agree with Muhammad hijab, that means either you are lying or he's lying. Who is lying? Allah. Yeah. Allah knows best, right? In so the end, we don't have an, an answer. Right? Right? Can you can can at least any of them? Abbas now mm -hmm. is is like calm, is relaxed now. Before he would call Christian pin, prince and and argue his 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 nerves out. Now he's relaxed. He doesn't call Christian prince anymore. Maybe Christian prince blocked him. Now can Yahya himself explain yeah. what it means? Who is Allah praying to? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still waiting for 50 years, sister. I'm waiting for 50 years for a Muslim, a smart Muslim to come and explain to me, explain to us who Allah is praying to. I mean, when I pray, I pray to my Lord and Savior, my Creator, God, right? But when Allah prays, to who Allah prays? It's a very sincere question because in the end, Allah is praying. Allah yusalli, right? Yes, they are all explaining that word away yeah. with other words yeah. like blessing. Yeah. Look at the look at the takia they are even practicing in their own Quran. Yeah. So they are explaining it away so using a uh, blessing for praying. Yeah. Or using praises like Muhammad the, the fraud. Yeah. For, for But that's not the uh, only thing, sister. You know, the funny thing is, I mean I understand that the angels can have to pray to their creator Allah. I understand that they are you saw Luna, right? They are praying yeah. to, to Allah. I understand that. I accept that. I understand that angels are the slaves of Allah. They have to pray to Allah, right? On behalf of Muhammad. I understand that. We understand that angels pray. You know, when you say, when you say Allah, Allah is praying to, that means both the angels and both Allah are praying. For a split second, guys, let us be political correct for a small second. I mean, when you ask to be blessed, you ask God to bless you, right? I ask God to bless dear sister Finesse, who is here on the phone with me. But yes. why but do the angels need to bless Muhammad? I mean, shouldn't the blessing, if you say this is blessing, it's not. But let's say for a small second, it's, it's blessing. It doesn't mean blessing, but let's say it's blessing. When, why do the angels need to bless Muhammad? Why not Allah only, right? I mean, the blessing should come from Allah, not from the angels. Brother. And all the believers. Do you see the disaster? Do you and see the disaster? All the believers. And all the believers. So is Muhammad God? Yet they say they don't worship Muhammad. Well, yeah. All the yeah, believers. Muhammad is God, sister. Here. Here is the proof. They Muhammad is God. And, and pray to him. Yeah. Saying they are blessing him. Yeah. So in his Jannah, where he's having thousands of, of huris, yeah. is he not blessed enough? Yeah. Well, Here's the proof that Muhammad and Allah are the same one person or at least equal. لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِي وَتُعَزِّرُوا وَتُوَقِّرُوا وَتُسَبِّحُهُ بُكْرَةَ وَصِلِ It means that you have must believe in Allah and his messenger. And because Muhammad is the last person, the messenger of Allah, right? All the verbs that come after in chapter 48, ayah 9, all the verbs go back to the last person according to... Arabic. I didn't invent the Arabic language. I learned mm. when I went to school, when you have two persons, let's say, like a sentence like this, you have a person, in this case it's Allah, that's the first guy, and you have the Rasul, which is the second guy, the last guy. So all the verbs that go up, come after the last person go back to the last person. And when we see what to sabbihu, subhan tasbih, glorification act of worship you have to glorify who the rasul because he is the last person right and to explain it even more clear for everybody what to aziru meaning to assist him in battle question muslims does allah need assistance or help in battle no because he's allah he doesn't need your help so the first verb already explains that it's for muhammad and all the verbs look the same exactly. Look, the same style. Let me make it bigger for the people who are watching. It's the same style. Wa tu'aziru. Wa and tu'aqiru. 
to, to assist him, to honor him, and to do tasbih, glorification for him every morning and evening. Who? Oh, the Rasul, right? The Rasul. Yes. I told, I told someone online yeah. that uh, Muhammad is uh, the Allah. And he was furious. He said, well, Christians are atheists. Yeah. So I said, Muhammad can, if I say the Shahada, if Muhammad is not your Allah, if I say the Shahada, can I say, uh, stop with, uh, with Allah and not continue yeah. with Muhammad is his messenger? Can I say um, uh, the Shahada, yeah. removing Muhammad and just putting Ahmed since you guys are looking for the Bible. No, 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 Muslims, no, no, it does not possible. It's Muhammad. You have, you can't put Isa there. You can't put Moses there. So even the Shahada, sister, good that you mentioned, the Shahada on itself is shirk, right? How can you place a mortal man, right, like Muhammad? On the same level as God. In the same sentence with God. If you claim that Allah is God. That's blasphemy. How can you be worthy to be put in one sentence with the Creator. Muslims think, right? And shahad on itself doesn't make sense because when you say, I bear witness, imagine you go to a court, right? You have been asked to be a witness of a murder. The judge will say, did you see the murder happen? Did you see it with your own eyes? Maybe you heard the shot of the gun with your ears? You will say either yes or no. So if you yes. say yes, that means you're an eyewitness, maybe you're an ear witness, you heard it, you've seen it, right? How can you Muslims say, I bear witness for something that you didn't see 1400 years ago? Did you see Allah? Did you see Jibreel? So how do you know that Allah is God? How do you know that Muhammad is Rasul? How do you know there's something called Jibreel if you didn't see it? So how, how do you say, I bear witness? That shahada is a disaster. It's shirk, it's blasphemy, and it's a disaster, right? Mm. Mm. And I, I guess the guy that like entertains me all the time on the mm. internet is listening to you. Mm. I asked this question and none of them would answer me. Mm. So what else if, is new? <laughs> if if God, if mm. Yahweh mm. is God and he says I'm not going to change my name. Yes, Exodus where 315. Is it yeah. stated yeah. that he changed his name to Allah. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Number two, I'm sure that guy is listening to you. Yeah. Number two, what made um, in your whole Quran all yeah. the prophets' names? Yeah. What made those names Jewish names? Yeah. The only non-Jewish name mm -hmm. is Muhammad. And Muhammad came 600 years after and doesn't have a clue yeah. about, about Judaism or Christianity, just messing things up. Just turning uh, the the prophets, the Jewish prophets' names into idolaters in in the Quran. Yeah, here's Exodus three fifteen that you mentioned, sister. Let me read it for the people. Maybe you know you are interested to understand what's this is what our sister's talking about. Exodus three fifteen, right? God said, moreover to Moses, you shall tell the children of Israel, the Beni Israel, right, the children of Israel, Jacob, yeah. this is Yahweh. Right? This is Yaved. This is the name of our God. Holy, the name above all names. Hallelujah. Yaved. The God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. So if anyone asks you, Moses, tell me, tell them my name is Yahweh. This is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This okay. is my name forever okay. and ever and ever. Okay. You. Thank you, sir. So how, but, how, so Muslims, when, when you God claim, change his name. Yeah, can God, can Allah claim to be God? People who are listening, focus, please. Can Allah claim to be God, but at the same time, change his name? Well, you Muslims claim Allah is the same God of the Holy Bible. He says, this is my name forever. Suddenly, Allah, you know, God changes his name to Allah? Muslims, really? Are you saying that Allah is like a kid in a candy store, changing his mind over and over and over? Is that what you're saying? If you claim, God forbid, we know that Muhammad and Allah are nothing but Satan and the agent of Satan. But, you know, but when you claim this is the same God, are you telling me that Allah can change his mind? I mean, this is God, right? Can God change his mind? Muslims wake up. Absolutely not.
Our Look, God is Yahweh forever now. Jesus, Jesus himself said, salvation is of the Jews, right? Mm -hmm. Salvation is of the Jews. It's not that uh, the Jews are the ones giving salvation, but God chose in his, in his divine plan, mm. chose the Jews, out of, the Jews out of all the nations, purified them and said, the, the, my divine plan of salvation, I'm going to carry it out through the Jews. I will come mm. through the Jews. I'm the almighty God, but I'm coming through the Jews. Mm. So Jesus himself said, salvation is of the Jews. Yeah. How come now Yahweh changes his mind exactly. and goes to a Gentile guy? God forbid, by the way, God forbid, yeah. Who, who is this Gentile guy that mm -hmm. came and just changed everything upside down? What spirit did he have in him? Well, the, clearly the spirit of Satan, right? Who is... is and uh, our, yeah. God, our God is omnipresent, omnipost, omnipotent. Yahaya yeah. confirmed tonight. No, no, Allah, Allah is not is not everywhere. <laughs> exactly. Allah is missing an attribute. He's, he cannot be everywhere at the same time. No, 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 sister, wait, watch out. Yes. <laughs> and Allah Himself said, He cannot make babies. Oh, man. He cannot yeah. speak His word, yeah. and the word will become f uh, flesh as our God did, yeah. he will have to choose from the Huris. Yeah, he needs a female <laughs> partner to have children. Exactly. Imagine, guys, exactly. Allah, if he wants a kid, guys, if he wants a kid, he would have taken it from ourselves. Who is ourselves? Scholars of Islam cannot agree who ourselves are. Either it's Jibreel, either it's, uh, you know, there's Allah number two, who is a female goddess in Islam. Maybe it's a uh, it's, uh, big-breasted, Huris, it's maybe Jibreel, Allah will have sex with Jibreel, Allah, Allah knows best. This is not clear in the clear book of Allah. This is a ayah that is not clear. Muslims need to guess, need to play lottery to understand what Allah is saying here. But we and know it's Muhammad, yeah. only Muhammad will, is the one. Yeah. I will soon let you go brother, there is yeah. this one thing I want to say. Yeah. If uh, Jehovah and yeah. Allah are the same, why would Jehovah called the uh, children of Israel mm -hmm. the apple of his own eyes. Exactly. Whoever blesses, whoever blesses them is blessed, and whoever Amen. curses them is cursed. Amen. And now Allah comes and turns around and curses the Jews like nothing. Yeah. Says he has turned them to apes and monkeys. Again, so, Allah changing his mind. Again. <laughs> so. Allah has nothing to do with the Christian and, and the Jews. Clearly not, yeah. Clearly not. Because our holy <laughs> God, when he says something, it's forever. God cannot, forgive me God for saying it, but God cannot claim to be God if he changes his mind over and over and over, like the Allah of Islam, that you Muslims claim that is God. How can you actually accept that Allah sends down ayahs, but later he abrogates it. I mean, why Allah needs to send something and then abrogates it later? That doesn't make sense, Muslims. Wake up from your dream, your horror dream that you call Islam. Islam is truly a brainwashing cult. It destroys brain cells. It's even more worse than the coronavirus. Clearly. And uh, it's, it's frustrating to want to make them see, and you think you are just going against a brick wall. Yeah. Because for your mind, said, you don't see any reason why people can't understand yeah. it. Sister, but just a know, second. There's a guy in the live yeah. chat is calling me disgusting individual. Ali Khan, I, you're calling me disgusting, but you're not calling your prophet who said to his sahaba, to his companions, go bite on the penis of your fathers if you are proud about the Jahiliya, about the pre-Islamic era. Your prophet is, needs to use foul language. He is, he's the clean one and I'm the disgusting one for showing what yeah. kind of evil devil worshipper you follow in the shape of Muhammad. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the disgusting one? <laughs> right, Maybe the irony I can is on you. answer my question. Yeah. Maybe you can write and answer my question. Mm -hmm. Why? Are uh, all the prophets' names in the Quran Jewish names? 
Exactly. Why? Yeah. Only one single uh, Arabian illiterate <laughs> that wants to uh, put his name in between the Jewish names of the prophets. Why? Can you write and let us know? Yeah, well, you will, you will definitely get your answer, sister. But you, you have to yes. wait 15 years for your answer. Can you write and let us know, Ali Khan, yeah. when God, Elohim, uh, uh, Yahweh, when he changed his name to Allah, can you let us know that? Maybe he can write you. You never know. Mm -hmm. You never know because I've been asking Muslims the same questions. Nobody answers me. Yeah. Anyways, brother, let me let you go because I know you have a live show. Yeah. God bless no you. Problem, sister. Thank you for calling. Always a blessing to talk to you. Uh, yes, stay you. safe, sister. God bless you. God you bless your loved ones. And uh, you are always welcome to call us live on my uh, live show, sister. Thank See you, you very much. Yeah, bye-bye. Blessings. Bye-bye. So as you see, guys, <clears throat> before we continue taking other calls, just a small break, guys. Please bear with me. I need water, okay? I've been talking for almost two hours straight. Give me a small chance, guys. Alicia, just a second, Alicia, please. I will call you back. Give me a couple of seconds. I will go get some water and I'll be back. A small drinking break, okay, guys? My throat is, go is, uh, is gone, okay? Be right back. Don't go anywhere, guys. We will continue just... A small drinking break. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Hope you got yourself a nice drink or, you know, some orange juice or a cup of tea so we can continue, guys. You know, we love to talk. We, we love to talk about very important topics, right? Because the salvation on the line. But sometimes we also need to think about our health. Our health. <clears throat> My voice is really... Thank you. Telling, thank you for saying welcome back, Peter. For the people who just joined, God bless you. God bless your families. Let's see where we left. Okay. <clears throat> as you see, guys, as you see, when Muslims say, like Muhammad Hijab, when they say, Allah praises, Muhammad, Allah praises Muhammad, right? When he said Allah praises the Prophet, here Muhammad Hijab created a huge disaster, right? He created a huge disaster because you are actually saying that Allah is the slave of Muhammad and that's blasphemy, right? That's blasphemy. Blasphemy, one on one, because Alhamd is for Allah, Fakat, only and only for Allah. All praise is to Allah. So, you know, to explain it away, because they know they are in trouble, when he said Allah prays for, not to, he created disaster number one. And when he came back, he said, No, no, I meant to say Allah praises the Prophet. You are showing us that Allah is committing shirk. Well, well, he's saying all praise is for me alone. Chapter 1, Ayah 2 of the Quran. All praise, Alhamdulillah, right? All praises to Allah. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, Muhammad Hijab, according to him, Allah, is committing shirk, praising the Prophet. You see? Well, Islam teaches, Islam 101 teaches that 
all prayers should be for Allah and Allah alone. So here Muhammad Hijab, the so-called hero of Muslims, who Yahya, by the way, did not agree with, showed everybody what kind of shirk we find in Islam. You're out of Islam, Muhammad Hijab, when you say Allah praises the Prophet. Because Alhamdulillah, faqat, Alhamdulillah, only, only and only for Allah according to Islam. So how did it suddenly became that Allah praises the Prophet? Isn't that shirk, Mr. Muhammad Hijab? You Arabic expert, you said, I'm going to teach you Arabic lessons, David Wood. Yeah, right. Arabic lessons? Go teach yourself Arabic lessons first before actually calling Allah the slave of Muhammad. Let's see if we can have other callers. Uh, this gentleman called me. Let me call him back. Hello, Rob. Hello, welcome. Yeah, this is Abbas. Oh, what? it's Abbas. Hello, Abbas. What happened? Uh, you put the phone down on me earlier. Yeah, because because you said I don't know. I have to go and and check out the tafsir. Why do you, you know? I, no, I don't I have time. I don't have. Yes, you said it. It's on tape. No, I did not. You no, said no, no, I no, have no. to go check the tafsir and then understand what this ayah is about, right? Uh, no, That's what I, you said said. That. Yes, I said that. Yes, you said that. it. Uh, you, everybody heard you. Listen don't, to me don't, carefully. Please don't if lie. Don't, okay, don't I'm lie. Not, I'm not lying. Okay. What I said was, okay. I'm going to explain what I understand by reading it. Okay. But I further need to check the tafsir. Are you going well. to give us your own tafsir, uh, Abbas? Do you understand what I just said? Do you agree with me that I said that I'm going okay, to explain? Okay, okay, explain. Okay. Now, okay. First, we read the words. Uh, because the reason I called you was about Allah praise or not. I think we'll, I hope you give me a chance to talk about that as well. We'll go but, there, but okay, yeah, but will. okay. But Did you check you, out what this I am in chapter twenty one? Since, since you I asked me, so I, I looked into it. Yes, okay. of course, I looked into Good. it. So Good. we read the um, the verses, chapter seventeen, um, and um, you said uh, uh, your claim is that Allah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the screen is not. No, no, I'm not one. claiming anything. I'm reading it as it is, chapter no, no. twenty one, Surah Al Anbiya, I seventy. I'm not adding my words. Mm. I am reading as it is. I challenge you if you show me where I put anything from my own mouth. Please, no, no, no. don't insult no, no. me on my own life. No, no, I'm I saying... read it as it is. If we willed, Allah is saying, if we willed to mm. choose a pastime, meaning a female partner, Hang on, to have stop children, it. Stop it. Stop we stop could it. have chosen it from ourselves. Who stop is the ourselves? That's my question. Stop Who there. is the ourselves? Stop there. Stop there. When you say pastime, why you add female partner in it? Arabic, Arabic, Arabic doesn't say female partner what okay Arabic. what is do you know Arabic uh... no no I'm asking you, okay, since you are, since I'm you are an Arabic, Arabic speaker Lahua and Batik means a female partner to have sex with that's Lahua what it means mean a female partner yes can you show prove it to me from Quran yes. or Hadith yes or India, yes, yes. Tafsir no 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 not the Tafsir the dictionary of Arabic or words of Arabic which I don't have I don't have the dictionary I don't need a dictionary I'm an Arabic speaker okay so and prove... I al Arabiya. Right? Prove it, prove and it to Arabi. Me. And Ibn Arabi, okay? Prove I don't need a dictionary, <laughs> guys. I, I need a dictionary. Why, why okay, should... go check your dictionary. Don't waste my time. I have no time for, for people who are going to tell me to force a dictionary on me while I'm an Arabic speaker. And you have the tafsir. The tafsir is in front of you. Now suddenly the tafsir of a Jalalin is not good enough for Abbas, the, the car driver. Brother, huh? What's wrong with you, man, Muslims? Suddenly, tafsir of a Jalalin is not good enough. We need a dictionary, right? Go get a dictionary. Don't waste my time and tell me what the wor words mean. I know Arabic. I know. Imagine, guys. Imagine. I'm talking to a Chinese and I'm, I'm asking a Chinaman who has been born in China, who has been schooled to China to, to go to a dictionary and explain what a female partner is. Can you, can you imagine guys? Can you imagine what he's basically saying? He's a fan of Maududi? Let's see what Maududi says. <clears throat> Someone is saying in the chat, he's a fan of Maududi. Okay, this is Maududi, do you see it? English translation, Maududi. Maududi is a guy, I'm not sure if he's dead yet, or basically, you know, here. Had it been our will to find a pastime, what is a pastime, guys? Can someone tell me? Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest, English is not 
my first language. Arabic and Aramaic are my first and second language. All right? Actually, Aramaic is my first language. Arabic is my second language because I'm an Assyrian. Had it been our will to find a pastime. What is a pastime? Anyone? You know English better than me. What's a pastime in meaning in English? This is Mauduri. You like Mauduri, right? Abbas, someone is saying, who knows you, he's saying that you like Mauduri. What is a pastime in English? It means a female partner, right? Allah needs a hobby? Allah, Allah needs a hobby. Really, Marjana, Allah needs a hobby. <laughs> maybe Allah wants to knit or maybe, you know, uh, maybe doing some puzzling or, you know. It means, you know, to bam bam with a female partner. Right? Female partner. Lahwan, female partner. Right? And he would have found it from ourselves. Ladunna, ourselves. That's the word. Yeah, Allah needs to <clears throat> with a female partner. To if he wants children, right? Right? Then Allah is saying, no, no, I'm not, I don't want that, right? If we desire, if we desire, we could have, you know. And according to Al Tafsir al Jalalain, the ourselves, <clears throat> look guys, the big breasted Huris or Jibreel, basically. So Allah maybe is going to have Aham with Jibreel if he wanted to if he desired it but we never desired it right maybe allah is not into male angels you know <clears throat> lord have mercy that's the only thing i can say lord have mercy right go get a dictionary my friend i'm an arab <laughs> tell a chinaman or a japanese or a Nigerian to go learn his own language. Grab a dictionary to learn your own language after so many years. Ana Arabi ibn Arabi, yaakhi. Okay? Ana Arabi ibn Arabi. I don't need a dictionary. Lord of mercy. So, in the end, guys, in the end, Allah needs a female partner to bam bam to get a child. Without a female partner, Allah cannot produce children. I mean, what kind of God is this? You need a female partner to produce children? Either from Jibreel, you're going to have sex with Jibreel, or from the beautiful big breasted Huris, Wakawa Iba Atraba, right? Swelling breast, brother. Look, look, look. Imagine, guys, Allah is doing, you know, <clears throat> with Huris. Pow, 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 pow. Okay, sorry, guys. Could not hold myself back. It is what it is, guys. Islam is, you know, swelling breast, brother. Weapons of mass destruction. Allahu alam what Allah would do with those Huris, man. Maybe he will have some... Uh, you know, he'll go, maybe he's going to do some bicycling or, you know, ride on the bicycle with them, maybe, uh, you know, shooting dogs. Allahu Akbar, brother. Someone is saying, Rob, it doesn't say that. <laughs> By the way, guys, have you, have you watched uh, Fifi, his, uh, his, his video? He was, I, he mentioned me too. Guys, he was not only talking about Christian Prince. I kid you not. Let me show you guys. Maybe you didn't see it. I had so much fun. And by the way, Fifi, I know you're watching. Fifi, I know you're watching. I know, I know. Thank you for mentioning me when you were attacking Christian Prince. Guys, let me show you that video. Right? When he was talking about Christian Prince. And then he, they also mentioned me. I want to show you that, guys. Maybe you didn't see it. Just a second, guys. Let me try to put it up for you. Muslims first. And then last, finally, he'll be like, okay, guys, right. Christians. Okay. Go back. You know, he's just a liar. There's nothing more than that. Now they are talking about Christian Muslims prince, but watch calling this. Calling in. 
Okay. Because they, they started seeing the liar side of CP, not the expert who has the, you know, alternate opinion which could be true. They saw him as a liar, out like, you know, he's just a liar. There's nothing more than this, right? So you could see lesser number of calls. No, and it also affected another individual. Who is that individual, guys? Watch, they're talking now about me. This, right? So you could see lesser number of calls. No, and it also affected another individual. Uh, we, I don't think we should promote him. But there's another guy who... Pro promote who, me, promote me. Uh, pretends promote like me. him, talks like him. I think he's younger too. I'm younger. It's me. I think you guys did a video on him soon, right? The Joker, yeah, yeah. Joker, yeah, Joker, even Joker. And a Joker will enter, yeah, 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 yeah. Fifi, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Fifi, yeah. So guys, you see? We should not promote. Well, you're actually pro promoting me. Thank you for the promotion. Thank you, you know, for mentioning me too. Not only Christian Prince, brother. He's acting like Christian Prince, brother. Rob Christian, why do you sound like Christian Prince, brother? My friend, it's an honor to sound like Christian Prince. Don't you understand? I think you Muslims, when you sleep, you breathe, you sleep, and you eat Christian Prince day in, day out. This is why you watched... 200 videos, as you claim, right, Afzal? This guy claims to be, call, he calls his name Afzal. And, you know, he's calling Christian Prince this year. He watched 200 videos of Christian Prince, according to this. Yeah, we believe you. 200 videos? You've been watching 200 videos of Christian Prince. Yeah, yeah. And these guy, this guy saying, don't call, don't call them. Don't call them. Look, even on his, oh, even on his show, don't call Christian Prince on people Christian. don't call, they're like, okay, guys, any Muslims? Um, guys, any Muslims? Oh, uh, are you a Muslim? Okay, wait, wait. Did, 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 did. Yeah, Hello? that's me. He's talking Hi, about I'm me. I'm John. Uh, John, are you Guys, are you he's Muslim? still talking no. about me. Okay, guys, any Muslims? Um, guys, any Muslims? Oh, uh, are you a Muslim? Okay, wait, wait. Did, 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 did. Hello? Uh, Hi, I'm John. Uh, John, are you, are you a Muslim? No. Okay, sorry, sorry. It's only a Muslim. Yeah, so they'd be lurking about waiting for a Muslim. Oh, is that is that a Muslim? Okay, let's let's answer. They this are one. right, right. Rob Christian and Christian Prince. Hello, uh, hi, hi. Imagine, uh, I have some questions. Are you a Muslim? I'm, no. I'm, I'm happy that I'm in their minds, the guys. First. I'm so happy. And then last, finally, back. Like, okay, guys, Christians can call in. You can see that people come in just for the show. Right. Yeah. yeah. You guys, guys, like you hear? You come only for the show. And 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 calling him for whatever reasons. One, you cannot. You cannot do anything on that. Show. You cannot win, so Muslims. You cannot win from us. You're a liar. You're, 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 you're not doing any any favor to the ummah. Okay. Completely so, so, avoiding them. So those that want to do something about him, what do you recommend they do? Well, you're the expert. Okay, so just make yeah. videos. <laughs> just make videos about him. <laughs> coward! Just make videos about you, coward! Thank you. I I, I will applaud you for being coward, Phoebe. Just make videos about, don't call them, just make response videos. That's how you can defeat Rob Christian Christian. My friend, for sure you're not a coward. You're, you're, you're the hero, brother. Brother, brother. Don't call Rob Christian Christian Prince. You cannot win, man. I mean, you Muslim, Muslims, Muslims. If you claim that Islam is the truth, if you claim that Muhammad is a prophet, why are you so scared to call us? Where are you here? Where is Mimi Hijab? Where is Fifi? Why are you not calling us? Brother, don't call them. Make only videos about them. You cannot win. Brother, you cannot win. You coward. Get lost, man. You coward. You ca you're a coward. That's what you are. This is why you're telling your Muslim audience to not call Christian Prince or Rob Christian. Because you know what will happen next. You know what will happen next, right? You cannot win, brother. Get lost, man. Who are you, man? When we were debating Muslims, shiuch, and imams on Paul Talk, you know, I don't want to go there, guys. Rob, you were refuted so many times. By who? Abdul, Ya Malik, Awni. Whatever your names. By who am I refuted? I promise, guys, this is my promise, and I've said it many times over. If I can be refuted, I will close my YouTube channel. I hope that I can be refuted. So I can, you know, I'm disgusted by this cult, guys. I'm doing this for 15 years. 
I'm disgusted of Islam. But as long you Muslims cannot refute us, we will continue what we do. We will continue expose this man-made cult called Islam. Your fake prophet, your wannabe prophet, your disgusting prophet who said to his Sahaba, go bite on the penis of your fathers. Right? Someone is asking, I have a serious question, Rob Christian. Is Christian Prince your father? Answer please. No. He is my older brother from a different mother. Right? But yeah, Christian Prince and I, guys, for people who don't know, we go way, way, way back. Right? We go way, way, way back. Same Paul talk where all the old school debaters used to be there. Right? This is where we know each other from. <clears throat> we're not born yesterday, guys. <clears throat> Do you have more callers, guys? I received so many calls. Uh, let's see. Throat is gone, guys, but let's see if we can accept this call. Yeah, hello? Hey, Rob, how's it going? How's it going? Hey, hello. Welcome, my friend. Can you hear me? Yes, you're live on air. Go ahead. Oh, sweet, sweet. Um, oh, man, it's just been crazy, crazy listening to your, your live stream. A crazy, in a, in, yeah, crazy in a positive sense or... Uh, um, pretty much a funny sense. <laughs> okay. You're, are you a Christian, my uh, friend? Are you a Christian? Yeah, I believe in the Messiah. Oh, I believe in the Messiah. Okay. Hello, Salah. Welcome. Um, just, I don't know if you read my question on my text that I sent you. Uh, but I was just... I was no, just... man. If you see if you see my Skype, you'll go crazy, man. The messages that I get. No, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, what's your question? Um, question is, um, I've been asking a lot of Muslims on other videos. Okay. And in the chats. Mm. Is um where where can I find Jesus in the Quran? Jesus like, in the Quran. Is, is, there is no Jesus in the Quran. There's only Isa in oh, the Quran. Well, yeah, what they call Isa. Yeah, Isa. Yeah. You know how we, you know how we have Jesus in in the Gospels. Is yes. it like that in the Quran, or is it scattered everywhere? Well, uh, uh, Jesus is mentioned more than Muhammad. Muhammad, I think, is mentioned around four times, and Jesus much more than Muhammad. So, oh. yes, he's mentioned as Isa. There's nothing called Joshua. There's nothing called yeah. Yeshua. I'm an, I, as an Arabic-speaking Christian, we call Jesus in Arabic, which comes from the Aramaic and Hebrew, Yeshua al Messiah. Guys, again, as Arabic-speaking Christians, we call Jesus in Arabic, Yeshua al Messiah. So who is Isa? I have no idea. Right? Who is Isa? We don't know. We Arabic-speaking Christians, we don't call Jesus Isa. We call him Yeshua al Messiah. So I have no idea why Muslims or why Muhammad called. Maybe he confused the real Jesus with Esau, the brother of Jacob, the accursed brother of Jacob. Who knows? Allahu Alam. So, 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 do they have? You know how we have in the Gospels. Um, or Jesus' teachings in it. Do they have that in the Quran as well, or is it just? Well, actually, if you read, if you read the story of Jesus in the Islamic scriptures, Islamic, uh, basically, he's a uh, prophet who failed his mission. He came for a mission. He wanted to share the truth, and suddenly, you know, Allah needs to save him. Right, Anna needs yeah. to save him from dying on the cross. We know Muhammad, and that's by the way. I wanted to, uh, I don't want to go too much into into th that topic, to be honest with you, because that's not my topic of today. I yeah, want to yeah, talk yeah, about the many fairy tales. Right, we did a uh, vote, and I'm going to, Lord willing, I'm going to choose that as my next topic. Right, uh, yeah. to talk about the many fairy tales and where Muhammad got all the stories that we can now find in the Quran. But Muhammad actually. When he's talking about the crucifixion, uh, I can show you, for example, right? Because since we are talking about it, no problem. Uh, chapter 4, Surah Anissa. Can you see the screen, my friend? Can you see it? 
Oh, sorry, man. I'm, I'm going to go on my phone. Oh, no problem. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Let me go to the eye and I can read it so you can listen to. And the audience who are watching the show, they can see the eye in front of us. Let me go it. Go to, uh, to that eye. Just a second, my friend. Bear with me. If we go to that specific eye, this is chapter four, eye 157. Surat and Nisa, chapter and Nisa, the women. I 157. It says, and for their saying, we slew the Messiah. So when we ask Muslims, who are those who are saying, who are the ones who are talking? Those are the Jews. They say, we slew the Messiah. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did the Jews ever say in the history of Jews, did any Jew ever say we killed the Messiah? That's question number one. No, because the Jews are still waiting for the Messiah. So this is lie number one. No Jew in the whole history of Jews ever said we killed the Messiah. Here Muhammad is doing poo poo. He is lying from the back of his teeth. And if we continue reading, it says, yet they did not kill him, right? They did not slay him. They did not kill him. Neither crucified him. وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَا لَهُمْ That means it appeared or shown to them. So he, Allah, did uh, some voodoo, and you know, he, he uh, deceived the Christians, he deceived the Jews. Actually, no, the Christians not. He deceived the Jews, used Mecca on them, deception, to, tell, you know, basically save Jesus, take him to himself, according to the ayah, and he was not killed by the Jews, uh, and he's not crucified by the Jews. Wait, Allah, you claim to be God. Here's question number two. Disaster number two. Look how many disasters and questions we have in this one ayah. If the Jews did not kill him, according to the ayah, right? We slew the Messiah. They are claiming. They are the ones saying it. If they did not kill him, wait a second, that's not true. Jews never crucified anyone in the whole history of Jews. Jews never crucified anyone. Yes, they wanted Jesus dead. But they never punished anyone by putting him on the cross. That was a Roman punishment. So here no, Allah sure. again, I mean Muhammad, we know it's Muhammad, right? There's nothing called Allah. <laughs> Muhammad doing again poo -poo for the second time saying and claiming that the Jews are putting people on the cross. That's a lie. It's a Roman punishment. The, only the Romans and only the Romans had the authority to crucify people. So here the Quran is lying about the Jews. For saying we slew the Messiah. No, Jews never ever said we slew the Messiah. And again, mm -hmm. the Jews never put anyone on the cross. It was a Jew, uh, Roman practice. The Jews mm -hmm. never crucified mm -hmm. anyone. If a Jew committed blasphemy, they would have stoned him to death. So here again, Muhammad has no clue who the real Jesus is. He has no clue what the, <laughs> what the Jews actually believed. And he has no clue that it was a Roman punishment system. Jews had no authority to crucify anyone, right? Yes, they wanted Jesus dead. Yes, we agree on that. The Jews wanted Jesus dead, but they had no authority to kill anyone. Hmm. So, so there's, 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 there's no teachings like how we have Jesus parables and, and, and his teachings in that. Is hmm. there anything like that in the Quran? That they uh, say that he's well, we, we, or whatever? We, well, not really. We can find uh, many apocryphal uh, writings, right? Apocrypha or uh, like, for example, the infancy Apocrypha, gospel yeah. uh, of, and, and that's what I'm going to mention on my next live show. So I don't want to talk too much about it. If you're yeah, interested yeah, yeah. in that, my friend, wait a couple of days. I'm not sure when I'm going to go live again, but my topic is going to be all about all of that. We're going to uncover and dissect pieces by pieces where Muhammad got all the, the 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 stuff that we can find in the car. For example, this one, this exact one is from the treatise of the Great Set. This was a third century writing written somewhere in Egypt, Cairo, by a third century guy. We don't know the name of that guy who wrote it. Muhammad took it and put it in this ayah because the treatise of the Great Set and Gnostic writing, right? A Gnostic writing that we can find in the Hamadi, uh, I think it's called the Hamadi codices, right? Muhammad stole it. Muhammad, had, as a merchant, he was working for Khadija, his boss, right? He had access to many books, and these books 
that used to circle around on around the countries surrounding the Mediterranean Sea. Muhammad as a merchant had access to these books. He was stealing those stories and put it in the Quran. This is a copy paste, copy paste from the treaties of the great set. And I will going to I'm going to mention this on my next live show, guys. Right. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, because I was just watching. Um, uh, I'm sure you're yeah. familiar with him, uh, Shamsi, yeah, just yeah. before before your life, mm -hmm. and and he was, <laughs> and he was saying that um, that the Bible was false and all that. It's all corrupt. <laughs> He, then did he, he say, say he said he said the Bible he, is corrupt? Did he say he, says, he said the Bible's uh false and it's, wow um, blah, he's blah, basically blah. calling and then Allah. He goes, and then he goes, yeah. And then yeah. he goes, he, he then he goes, but we can take from the Bible what aligns with the Quran. <laughs> <And I'm> like, <laughs> so he wants to like, cherry mate, pick. He <laughs> wants to cherry pick. Okay. Wait, wait. When you're going That's to call crazy. the Injil and the Torah this corrupted, that means you're calling Allah. And Muhammad corrupted. You're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. calling them liars and deceivers. You're calling your own prophet who said, I believe in thee, the Torah, and the one who sent thee. So Muhammad, when he was given the Torah, he said he was swearing on the Torah, right? And nowhere mm. in the Quran, nowhere in the Quran, you can see any ayah saying clear, crystal clear, the Injil is corrupted and the Torah corrupted. Nowhere. You cannot find it anywhere. So Muslims are actually, when they say, the Bible or the Injil or the Torah is corrupted. They are calling Allah yeah. and Muhammad liars because Muhammad in his Quran, right? He gave to his Sahaba and saying, no one can change the words of Allah. Are the Injil and the Torah the words of Allah? Yes. According to Islam and the Quran, the Injil and the Torah are the words of Allah. Can someone change the words of Allah? No. So when this joker, this, this cutie pie, Shamsi, Sh Shamshi, saying that the Bible is corrupted, the Injil Torah are corrupt, they are calling the one Allah who sent these words, right, in book forms, Allah is the one who is corrupted, for sending corrupted yeah. scriptures, right? Ah, oh, man, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, good, Rob. Thank you for calling, my uh, friend. I'll, God I'll bless wait, you. I'll wait for your next live then. Sure, sure. It is. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you, my friend. Thank you for calling. God bless. Stay safe. You too. See ya. Thank you. Bye bye. bye bye. Guys, my throat is gone. Maybe you're hearing it. What do you expect after two hours and 40 minutes? I think, guys, this was a good, <clears throat> good live show. Thanks to the Lord. Uh, I hope, I hope everybody benefited. I hope you took notes. I hope uh, if you like what we discussed, um, our dear brother and admin, Phil Herrera, always provides the mentioned sources, used sources like this ayah, like where Allah is saying, you know, uh, he's going to take someone from ourselves to have sex with, right? You can find all the sources later in the comment section. So make sure to go back to the comment section. Wait around one hour, two hours maybe. I'm not sure how long uh, our... Dear brother, Phil Herrera, but he will find it. He will post all the sources there. You can find them. Okay, guys, make sure to subscribe, guys. Make sure to subscribe. If you like our work, thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Destroy it. Right. Download our videos. Share them around on social media. Help me to help you. Always take notes. Muslims, to the Muslims, stay safe in these times, study, don't listen to anybody, don't listen to anyone who is trying to deceive you. If you think we are lying, check the sources that we mentioned, that we discussed. See for yourself, and I challenge you, if you think you have the knowledge and the courage to call me on my next live show, please do so. Right? Please do so. But for the truth seekers, please come back home to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Please come back home because no one, not Muhammad, no one can save you except Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. He is the King of Kings. Every knee will 
bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord, including your knees, Muslims. Sorry, guys, I'm really, I really need to go because I, my throat is killing me. But Lord willing, we will see each other in the next live show. And Lord willing, it's going to be about where Muhammad got all these stories from in the Quran that we can find now in the Quran. We will go to the infancy gospel of Thomas. We will go to many agnostic and proper, a, sorry guys, a proper Krafa writings. We will go to many outside sources to show you and prove to you that Muhammad was plagiarizing stealing stories from here and there that we now find and call the quran so if you want to watch that make sure to subscribe and you'll get a notification click on the notification bell you'll get a notification lord willingly and lord willing we'll see each other on a next live show thank you for watching guys god bless you god bless your family stay safe from the quran virus <laughs> and May Jesus bless you and bless your loved ones. Thank you for watching. Please, Muslims, come back home. I hope you got convinced today. You saw your Muslim heroes of Speaker's Corner who had no answers. No answers at all. No answers. We spoke to Yahya. It's recorded. We've spoken to Abbas. We gave those people chances over and over to answer questions because they cannot answer. Only thing they can do is either going to insult me or they're going to tell me, you need a dictionary. You need, uh, I need to go check tafsir to understand. My friend, really? Really? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Keep us in your prayers, guys. Download our videos. Jesus is Lord. Muhammad is a fake prophet and Islam is nothing but a man-made created sex cult a death cult for the evil ones god bless